Hmm, Stella's not the only one feeling peckish. Don't mind me. I'm just taking a break with some of my friends, Marlene and her pupils. Marlene's a science teacher. But our peaceful picnic has just been rudely interrupted. Oh! Ah. Oh! 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 oh I've been stung! What I'd like to know is how a weedy nettle like this can sting a big girl like me. Trish, are you all right? Oh, yes, Marlene. I know it's only a nettle, but it really hurts. How do nettles sting? Well, they may look as if they have smooth leaves, Tris, but just watch this. Wow! It was as if the balloon had been hit by a pin. Those nettles must be covered in something pretty sharp. They're covered in thousands of stinging hairs. You only have to brush against them with your skin and they pierce you and inject you with poison. The poison's stored in a bulb at the base of each hair. The tip of the hair pierces the skin. It looks really sharp. Right. Marlene can show me just how sharp it is. Look at the tip compared to a familiar sharp object, a pin. A sharp object? Wow, that's amazing. Even something as pointed as a pin has a flat surface. You actually have to push quite hard on this surface to create enough pressure to pierce a balloon. But a stinging nettle hair pierces a balloon much more easily because it has a smaller surface area at its tip. Yes, in fact, Trish, it's about one-fifth of the size of the pin. And it only has to brush your skin very gently to produce enough pressure to puncture the skin. <laughs> 